This video is for instructional purposes only. The information presented is one point of view and not intended to replace individual recommendations by a qualified naturopathic doctor or herbalist. I use and recommend the Nature Sunshine line. Um, the views expressed, however, do not necessarily represent the views of Nature Sunshine. I'm Dr. Jane Semple from Ohio, and I'm here to talk to you about blood pressure. Um, the question with blood pressure is how high really is high? According to the current medical diagnosis and treatment, now that is the book that they are using in medical schools called their Bible, um, 120 over 80 is optimal, 130 over 85 is normal, and 140 over 90 is high normal, but not an indication for drug treatment. Studies show that persons with naturally high blood pressure have slightly higher cardiovascular events than those with naturally low. However, studies do not show that reducing blood pressure artificially with drugs actually reduces cardiovascular events. Now, as we age, that systolic, uh, which is, would be your 120 over diastolic, your 80, doesn't always match up. So instead of getting a 120 over 80, you might have 140 over 80. Again, as we age, that is quite normal. Some people have um, what's called white coat syndrome. It means that their blood pressure is perfectly normal at home, but when they get into their doctor's office, it goes up. If that is what you want to do is be proactive, keep track of your blood pressure at home, purchase a blood pressure machine. They are not expensive. If your blood pressure is only high when you're at your doctor and your doctor still insists that you um, take blood pressure medication, then switch physicians because that is more ego than concern for you. Uh, and it is very interesting that the side effect of blood pressure drugs are very similar to the damage that's expected from high blood pressure itself. So, the things that you can do, first of all, diet. I recommend Dr. Diadamo's blood type diet. Um, his books can be picked up online or really in any, um, usually health food stores or any bookstores. Uh, blood type O's tend to do better with a lot of vegetables, with some uh, dark meats like beef and, and lamb. Blood type A's do better with vegetables, with chicken and turkey. And I find people that are not adhering to their blood type diet tend to um, have their blood pressure and their cholesterol raised. Exercise is very important. I've had people that if they exercise three times a week, their blood pressure stays in a perfectly normal range. I highly recommend it. Make sure you're drinking enough water, six to eight glasses of water a day, uh, drinking water instead of soda pops. Um, then we want to look to things like minerals. Um, we want to look at um, calcium to magnesium. And we can have a calcium to magnesium two to one. I do not recommend that for blood pressure problems. I recommend instead that you do a calcium to magnesium one to one. Uh, blood pressure tends very much to be um, calcium getting out of alignment with your magnesium. Then we look at other supplements. Uh, garlic has been shown through over 2,000 studies to have a positive effect, so we absolutely want to consider garlic. Um, hawthorn berries is very good for the heart. And I had a, a gentleman when I was taking cardiology, uh, one of the other students was throwing what's called a PVC. It means the heart is just kind of pinging off before it is uh, waiting for the uh, message to do so. And so I asked him if I brought him something in, if he'd be willing to take it. And he kind of laughed and said, boy, you have something for everything. Um, and so for the remainder of that class, he never threw another PVC while he was on Hawthorne. Um, capsicum is a very hot red pepper. Capsicum has a very, very long history of use in uh, cardiovascular. It really does get the blood moving. And you can also consider taking a combination supplement. Um, if you would prefer to take just, just one instead of uh, taking two. Capsicum extract. This is something that I recommend that every person who has cardiovascular disease in their family carry with them. A capsicum extract put under the tongue will actually stop a mild to moderate heart attack. Um, has been shown to. And this is something that was taught to me, not something that I developed myself. If you are interested in more information, 
then please do purchase my book, Blood Pressure, A Naturopathic Approach. It is published by uh, Woodland and it is available by Woodland Publishing online or any online retailer. Thank you.